as we know, Life Star and State Police responded. We are working right now to learn what led up to this shooting and any information about any suspects. And we're hoping to get a news conference from State Police shortly. Of course, we'll bring that to you live on the air as soon as we have it. 639, let's get your headlines. Kind of cloudy out there this morning, but very mild. Uh, temperatures are in the mid to upper 50s and lower 60s. Cloudy skies today with showers developing, maybe as soon as noontime in parts of northwest and southwest Connecticut. And then it just traverses the state by this evening, tonight, and into early tomorrow morning. We're talking about very heavy rain and strong, gusty winds. The breakdown today between 64 and 68, mostly cloudy. You might see a peak of sun from time to time, but you can also expect that rain to really take over by late this afternoon through tonight and into early tomorrow morning. I'm back with your extended outlook coming up in three. In the meantime, Kate, will say good morning. All right, we'll take you outside, give you a quick check on traffic here. It's 6.40 on your Thursday. This is a look at 395 by exit 6. This is right by the Montmill Service Plaza. You can see traffic is really light in that area. And then um, over by New Haven, this is 95 as you head into that city. We're seeing traffic starting to build, but no delays to speak of. Some building in uh, Fairfield County, that's typical for this time of the morning. But elsewhere in the state, we're looking really good. Here's a peek at your drive times. I'm Caitlin Newpo. That's your Connecticut Chevy Report driven by your Connecticut Chevy dealers. I walk for my wife. All of my patients? I was. Let's see.